Hey there, Tyler Patner here. Today we're gonna give you a couple quick tips on spring and gas piston maintenance. Now, there's not a lot you have to do to keep your Springer gas ram gun running and running well, but there are a couple things you can do every so often to keep it in top shape. Uh, so outside of maybe cleaning the surface finish of the wood and the metal parts, of course, uh, you can lubricate the internals of the gun and you can do so very easily. Now, the first thing we're gonna show you is to actually lubricate the power plant seal itself. Now, this seal here is not so much a concern. You do wanna make sure that your breech seal is clean. Uh, so wiping it down every now and again, maybe just a touch of silicone oil is a good thing to do. You wanna grab yourself some RWS spring cylinder oil, uh, get yourself one of these little needle applicators, uh, and you just simply put a couple drops right down in here. And when I say a couple, I'm talking two or three, no more than that. And you're only gonna wanna do that every 500 to 1,000 shots. And even then, unless your gun's making a honking noise or something like that, it's not an absolute necessity. So do it sparingly, but if you do ever hear that piston seal dragging when you're cocking it or closing it, um, it can be a good thing to do just to make sure that seal's lubricated and functioning well. Now the second thing you can do, this is particularly important for spring guns, not so much gas piston guns, uh, but that is tune in a tube right here. Uh, so basically, if you have a spring gun that you're not happy with from a maybe buzziness or a feeling perspective, you're getting a lot of vibration through the stock that you're uncomfortable with or that you'd like to get rid of, you can get some tune in a tube and apply it directly to the spring. Now this is very, very simple to do. You do need to remove the action from the stock itself, which on most spring or gas piston guns is just a couple screws. It's not gonna void your warranty or anything like that. But once you have the action out, you'll have the spring kind of exposed there in the cocking slot. And you're just gonna take this and apply a couple strands of it to the spring and then cock the gun, shoot it, go ahead. It'll spread itself out over time, but this is going to mitigate a lot of that vibration uh, and that buzz that you're getting that you're maybe not in love with from a feeling perspective when you're shooting your Springer. Now, of course, this is all on top of your normal maintenance that you're gonna wanna do as far as cleaning your barrel, things like that. Uh, but those are two things you can do to enhance and uh, lengthen the life and uh, your shooting enjoyment with your spring and gas piston guns. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, let us know in the comments below if there's other things you're doing to keep your spring and gas piston guns going strong, let us know down there as well, and we'll see you at the next one.